Hey, welcome to the show. Here I have a one, two, three, four, five digit number multiplied by a two digit number. If you think you can do this math challenge problem, try it on a piece of paper, hit the pause button, and when you're ready to check it with me, hit the play button. All right, let's begin my math ninjas. We're gonna start with the nine. So if you need to, you can cover that nine up. Don't even look at it and just worry about taking nine and multiply it by this number here. And we're gonna start with the, the seven. So we're gonna take nine times seven is 63. So I put the three right here and I put the six up there. Then nine times zero is zero plus the six. Don't forget about that six. Bring that right straight down here. Then nine times one is nine. Nine times three is 27. So I put the seven right here, carry the two. We're gonna add that. And then the last one we're gonna do nine times five is 45, 46, 47. So I put 47 right there. Now it's really important to memorize your multiplication. It just makes this go so much smoother. Our next step is we're going to be multiplying by this two right here. So you can cover that nine up if you want to um, with a piece of paper or you know, you can put a cookie right there if you wanted to. <laughs> and then when we're also multiplying, it's very important that we line our numbers up correctly and neatly. So let's begin. Two times seven is 14. We put the four right here. We're moving it over, all right? And 14, we're putting the one over here. So I'm gonna get rid of this little problem here so you don't see that. We're gonna add that number. So two times zero is zero plus the one. We just put the one right there. Then two times one is two. Two times three is six. And two times five is 10. So I write 10 right there. Do you see how important it is to line these numbers up very neatly so that they're in the rows? So now I'm gonna go ahead and add all these numbers. So three times zip is three, or three times zero is zero. Six plus four is 10, carry the one. Nine, 10, 11, carry the one. Seven, eight, nine, 10, carry the one. Seven, eight, eight plus six, 14, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Do you see how I got that? Carry the one and four plus one is five and then one. So here is our answer. We have, can you say that? That is 1,540,103. Now don't, don't say the word and in that problem. Sometimes I accidentally do say that, but when you say the word and, like if I were to say uh, 53 and, or uh, 531, sometimes that means like 531 cents. So we don't put the word and in there, but I, sometimes I get in the habit and sometimes I'll do that too. So, um, hey, I hope you had a great time today. I'd sure appreciate it if you hit, hit that uh, subscribe button there. That means a lot to me. I hope you're having fun with mathematics. I hope you're being safe out there. I'm drawing a fish right here. And uh, I like drawing. I wonder if you guys like drawing too. If you do, put it down in the comments down below. Maybe I'll add some more little drawing uh, characters when I finish my mathematics. And, and I'd love to find out where you guys are from. Right now I am in the United States. I love to travel to different countries. I like to learn new languages. And um, I always like to learn about my viewers out there. You guys are from all over the world. I really appreciate your time and your support. I know that there's some tough times going on in the world right now. Some schools in some countries are closed. So I hope that I'm able to add a little support for some students out there that want to learn, but their school is closed. So um, just remember that all of you are in my prayers. Um, and my thoughts, and I want most important for you guys to be out there as safe and um, happy. So, hey, thanks a lot. I'll talk to you guys later. Adios. Goodbye.